Blood is precious. The ancient Hebrew book of Moses correctly states, the life of the flesh is in the blood. Surgeons respect this fact and will use a variety of methods to limit blood loss, even during minor surgical procedures. Following a breach of the continuity of a blood vessel, as commonly happens with an injury or during surgery, blood will start leaking out of capillaries, flowing out of veins, and squirting out of arteries. Let's take a minor surgical procedure as an example. An oral surgeon is going to remove this wisdom tooth and inject some local anesthetic into the region. The injected solution also contains a minute amount of adrenaline, a vasoconstrictor which will cause the blood vessels to constrict, thereby reducing blood loss. The surgeon carefully removes the wisdom tooth and immediately blood starts leaking out of multiple arterioles and venules, as well as the thousands of capillaries in the tooth socket. Instantaneously, the blood clotting cascade is initiated and tens of thousands of blood platelets start clumping together in an attempt to plug all these small leaking blood vessels. The surgeon uses suctioning to help with the visualization of the operative field, then places an absorbable hemostatic sponge into the bleeding tooth socket and follows by applying pressure with sterile gauze. He asks the anesthesiologist to give IV medication to assist with limiting the bleeding, then places a tight absorbable suture, and in less than three minutes, the bleeding has virtually stopped. 